To counter your opponent grabbing your legs, drop straight down to your knees as you press his neck down. Stay on top of your opponent, pushing his head to the floor. Your opponent cannot take advantage of his leg hold if you are already on the ground. By sitting down, you can control his arms. Use your free hand to control his head, bearing down on his neck with all of your weight. Once you have control of his head, grab his ankle with your free hand. Lift his ankle above his body, then press down with both hands so that all of his weight is focused on his extended neck. In practice, be exceedingly careful with any attack to the neck. The neck muscles will instinctively lock to protect the spinal cord, which may take a long time to relax and heal. In this variation, grab your opponent's head with both hands and twist his neck. By continuing to twist your opponent's head, the rest of his body will follow. Grab the back of his head and the point of his chin. Push his head and pull his chin. After he falls, you may switch your hands to maintain control. To counter your opponent grabbing your legs from the side, grab his knee with your closest hand. Lift his leg to take him down. Sink down with him and control his other leg with your leg. Once your opponent is down, you can grab his knee and twist his hip or place your knee in his groin. To counter your opponent from a handshake, twist his arm in and use your free hand to control his shoulder. Pull his fingers toward the center of his back to work his arm. Hyperextend his wrist and hyperflex his elbow. Use your entire forearm in his back to prevent him from twisting out of this lock. Stay with him if he steps away from you to try and get away. In this variation, bend his wrist with his palm up and finger pointing down. Use your free arm to lock his elbow. Hyperextend both his wrist and elbow. Press the back of his hand toward his forearm. Hyperextend his elbow over your forearm, pressing down with your armpit. In this variation, grab his wrist with both hands and only hyperextend his wrist. Control his elbow with your arm. Pull his fingers to his forearm, locking his wrist with your thumbs. Keep his elbow sunk to maximize the extension of his wrist. In this variation, pivot your body and step into your opponent. Wrap your forearm against your lower back for leverage. Control his elbow with your free hand. All of the momentum from pivoting your body will transfer into this arm twist. If your opponent fails to react, you will take him down. In this variation, grab your opponent's hand with both hands as you step in, placing your shoulder under his shoulder. 
Piper extend his wrist and shoulder, lifting him up on his toes. Extend his wrist and step in with one fluent motion. Point his fingers toward his back as you keep his shoulder up over your shoulder. Keep his arm extended for this entire technique. To counter your opponent grabbing your belt from behind, grab his wrist with one hand as you turn the other direction. Use your other hand to seize his collarbone. Hyperextend his elbow across your upper arm. When you grab his wrist, wrap that arm against your lower back for leverage. Follow his arm with your other arm to bring your grip to his collarbone. Press in just above his collarbone as you maintain control of his wrist. To counter your opponent grabbing your belt and collar from behind, pivot your body and swing your arm over to seize both of your opponent's elbows. Grab your hand with your other hand, pushing his elbows down. Sink down to bring your opponent down. Squeeze his elbows together with your arm. Pivot and sink your whole body to bring him down. Use your palm against the point of his elbow. Do not relinquish your hold on his elbows. To counter your opponent pushing your chest with both hands, pin his hands to your chest with your forearms. Drop to a crouch, hyperextending his wrists and bringing him down. Chop his neck with your top hand. Bring that hand under his while controlling his wrist. Lock his arm and bring his shoulder to the floor. Press down on his wrists when you pin his hands. Lean forward as you drop. Chop his throat to make an opening for the arm lock. Wrap your elbow around his elbow, then grab his shoulder. While locking his shoulder with one hand, press his wrist to his shoulder with your other hand. Your top hand makes all the offensive movements while your bottom hand maintains control of one of his arms. Pin his shoulder to the ground while working his arm so he cannot escape. 